Hey guys, so today I have another Project 5 uses update for you. Um, I have been like really good about this project. I think it's because I was kind of getting bored with my Project Pan items and my like Pan Loves eyeshadows. I've been kind of like really wanting to like do something else, like work on a little bit different items because I've been working on them for so long. This hair, I feel like there's always at least one hair that I just want to cut off and it's usually those baby hairs. Anyway, I have three palettes here to talk about today and then we have three other items as well, um, which like is pretty good. Like I've been really working on my Project 5 Uses palettes. Um, I've kind of slowed down on working on my Project 5 Uses items because I have been filming these products these I have been filming these videos like crazy so I have like three of these videos already pre-filmed just waiting to go up like um, I'll put them up like so that they're not all right in a row but I have them ready to go so I've kind of been slowing down a little bit just because I've been going like crazy on these anyway let's just get right into it so the first palette I guess we'll do all the palettes first. So the first one I used for the five uses was the Pure Festival Festival palette. And this is what it looks like. So I did use every single color except for the purple, pink, and red glitter. So I used this like gold glitter, but I didn't get to the red. I have a different red glitter, you guys know, that I'm working on. And then I never got the chance to use the purple and the pink. I wanted to, I just never got to it, but... I have like a really good dip on this one and this one like I mean not like about to hit pan or anything but pretty good usage and I really like the formula of these pure palettes um, they're really blendable they're really nice um, the metallics could be a little bit more metallic -y, but I mean it's not bad at all let me do a few swatches so We'll do Free Spirit, this one. I use this one, I think, every time I use the palette. Um, there, that one is right there. I also used Epic, this, like, orangish brown color. There's that. And I use that one, like, pretty much every time I use the palette as well. So, yeah, I enjoyed it. It was really nice. Nothing super special, but there we go. And then the next palette that I was working on after that was the Bad Habit Solstice palette. And here is what it looks like. I really like the formula of these Bad Habit palettes. If you can find them, um, I think it's definitely worth it. They're like less than $10. I mean, I got them on sale, so I got them all for like $3. But yeah, I like the formula. And then they're all like dupe palettes. Um, anyway. So, what did I use a lot of? I used this one, Spring, I used quite a bit. These two metallic shades I used a lot, Dawn and Rays. Um, and then I did use, I think I used every color in here. Besides, like, the super dark colors. Um, but yeah, I'll do, we'll swatch these two. Those were my favorite two. And these are like super metallic, they're right here. They are like pretty powdery, but I mean, I, don't, I just think they're really pretty. So definitely worth it on these. I'm so sick of warm tone neutrals though. So um, the palette I'm working on now is like really neutral. So that'll be good. But I think the next one is back to being warm tones. So that'll probably be a slow progress. All right. My next one is the Le the Lorac Pro Mega 4 palette. It's already getting like dirty. But this is what it looks like. I did hit pan on butterscotch, but that was because it was in a panel's eyeshadows round. Um I got some really good looks out of this. So, I used like flamingo a ton. I used unicorn a lot. I used foam like pretty much every day in the inner corner. So I did that for like a pinky look. 
I also tried to do a greenish look with these matte shades and then these two and I didn't really like that one like at all so I think I ended up topping it with a glitter so you couldn't see it so that one didn't turn out the best but um, I also did a bunch of neutral looks with like this glitter and this glitter and then like the matte colors and yeah I really like it that it's kind of hard to get like a good look out of just this I definitely had to reach for other palettes to go with it but I really like this color Lotus which I thought was really surprising um, and then I used this one a few times but yeah I didn't really reach onto this side very much I'd used mocha but not much else um, but yeah let me do a couple swatches we'll do like unicorn because that one is like stunning I love unicorn but I'm also like just in a pink purple -y mood like look at this I mean you can't really tell but like very pink and purple but there's unicorn and I love the formula of Lorac Pro you guys know that it's just so soft and then that is honey underneath it so yeah this was a fun one to play around with I feel like it's really dark in here and I can't tell why because I have all of my lights on but whatever all right and then quickly we have three other products so we have the Lorac behind the scenes eye primer this came with one of my Lorac eyeshadow palettes that I recently bought so I used this five times and it works really good I mean it's just an eye eyeshadow primer um, but I thought it worked really good it helped my eyeshadow stay all day and then the next product is the Benefit Brow Styler. This has like the pencil on one side and a powder, if I don't drop it everywhere, a powder on the other side. So like has like a little applicator thingy. Um, I only used the powder like once or twice, but I used the pencil um, for the five times. I like the pencil, it's kind of like pretty hard and it's got, I don't know if you can tell, I think you can tell, it's like white looking. Can you see that? So it's like super dry. And I just recently, I mean not super recently, but I got this in a boxy charm, so it's not like it's years old. And I mean it just takes a lot to build up, but other than that, it's right here. Um, it's okay, it's something that I'd be able to use up. I'm not like a huge fan of using powder in my eyebrows, but the pencil was good. All right, and the last thing is a Stila Glitter and Glow, and this is this shade Sunset Cove. This is like a pinky iridescent, has like purple and blues in it. This was stunning. Um, it's already like really dried up. It's like down to here. Like that's all like you can see through all the way. So I'm going to have to like rehydrate this. I don't know why I couldn't think of that word. But it is really pretty and I really like this color. There it is right there. So sparkly, so pretty. What I did with, which I'll talk about more in my rolling project pan, my rolling makeup project pan. I took the stopper out of my Kitten Karma shade because that one was completely dried up. You couldn't get anything. This still feels a little bit wet with what you can get on the brush. Um, I scraped it all out and put it into a container and now it's just like a loose glitter. Like there is no liquid to it at all. It's like complete powder. But I was able to save it instead of just throwing it away. So I definitely recommend doing that if your Stila glitters are like beyond repair. This one, I'm going to take the stopper out, I think, eventually. Um, and just kind of mix it all around, add some drops, probably like Duraline drops, or like an oil, um, to get it a little bit more liquidy, because I love that color. It's so pretty. But, that's everything. Super quick update. I probably won't have another five uses for a little bit like I'm slowly working on things but I'm not like rushing through it that being said though like 
I like changing things up, so who knows? I probably will have another one soon. Um, <clears throat> I did start another new project, so I do have other products to work on since I have a new project. Um, so that's giving me a little bit more variety as well. And I also just did a shop my stash. So I have new products coming in from there to work on. All right. But anyways, I'm going to go put these products where they belong in my collection. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye guys.